Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here from Cornhole Bag Reviews. I want to start off this video with another thank you. You know, last week I released a video saying thank you for 100 subs, and now we're at like 230 and counting. So the support you guys have given me has been crazy. Uh, you've been blowing up my videos, and I really appreciate it. If you're not subbed, you can check right below the video. There's a little red button, completely free to do so. Really helps the channel grow and helps you see all the reviews that I'm releasing and be coming out with a lot more soon here. So today we got a really popular bag, the Deadhead by Buffalo Boards. You know, everybody's been talking about this bag. The Facebook pages have been going crazy. They can't keep these things in stock. The secondhand market is blowing up. Uh, it's a really good bag. Um, I would say this year they did, so they are stamped for ACL Pro this year for 2021, 2022. They had these bags before, but once they got that stamp, it, it just took off like a rocket ship. You know, everyone's talking about this bag now. Um, you know, you can sell or trade this thing instantly. Everybody's looking for them. But if we talk about materials a little bit, so right when I took this thing out of the package, I, it felt the slow side, that's your Surefire. It's the Surefire material, the Typhoon material, the Blackwater material, that polyester mixed softer side that tons of people are using right now. Uh, it's a really great feeling material, plays really great on the boards, breaks in super easily. I can understand why they want to use it. And then you got the fast side. The fast side is the Pro Sniper fast material. So it's the reverse of the Surefire material. So this speeds on this bag, they call it a 5.9. It's the exact same as the Typhoons. I'll throw up some videos here comparing the speeds of the slow and the fast to this to the Typhoons. They're the exact same speed. Kind of what you're looking at is a difference here is if you like the feel of a Surefire, but you don't like that fast side feel, that rave material, that game changer feeling material, this has that Pro Sniper softer side material, that Viper material, uh, the smoother material. So it's kind of the same feeling bag with a slightly different fast side material if you like that feel in the hand, which I think is where this is gonna kind of fill that niche role. You want a Surefire, but you want a fast side that isn't kind of that rough polyester material. Uh, if we're going into fill here, it does have that disc fill, my favorite fill. Makes a great handhold, really good handle. Feels great in the hand. Uh, when we get into flop, they are floppy, but they're a little bit less floppy than the Typhoons that I just reviewed. The Typhoons, when I was feeling them, they're a little less full. They definitely flop up a bit more. Uh, they droop a lot more in your hand. This is a little bit of a fuller bag, kind of gives you that nice firm handle to it if you don't like it so floppy, or maybe you like a slightly, you know, bag with a little bit more fill to it. This kind of has a better handhold, uh, really fits good in the hand. Um, in terms of uh, quality of materials, you know, so stitch, super small, one smooth stitch, you can tell they do it a lot. The corner is super clean. And again, these materials are high quality. There's a reason a lot of people are using them right now. Uh, we get into price point. So they are on their website. If you can catch a release, because they're sold out all the time, 110 bucks plus shipping. If you're looking on the Facebook pages secondhand, you're probably gonna pay anywhere between 130 and 160. Um, there's a lot of different colorways. Some are more popular than others. They just released the new pickle colorway, which is green and yellow that a lot of people like. Here is the blue and white one. Again, the designs, really cool. Uh, really great design bag, cool to look at. Great feeling bag. So break-in method. We're looking at, I didn't do anything. I just threw them. Um, I could do what I do with the Typhoons, which is just a hot water soak and dry. I would not use any materials on these. I've just been throwing them for a couple hours. They're already pretty broken in and they're just gonna keep getting more broken in. So I think if you, you know, same thing I was talking, me and Corbin were talking about with the Pro Sniper, you can really ruin them. I think if you use any kind of conditioner or products on this thing, they can get to an irreversible point really quickly. So just throwing them, they start to feel really, really nice. Even right out the box, they throw great and they're still pretty hole friendly and they're even getting more hole friendly the more I throw them. So, all right, we'll, we'll start throwing them here. So I want to give a shout out to Keith Engel on Facebook. My buddy out there let me borrow these bags for review. So I really appreciate that helping support the channel. So again, this slow side, if you've played with the Surefire before is quick in the right conditions, really hole friendly. Do the first one a little low. That one slowed up the board nice. Do that one a little higher. Just got to straighten her out a little bit. Oh, a little left. But again, just like the Typhoons that are hot right now, Surefires that are always hot, has that forgiving slow side, that forgiving five, that feels nice in the hand. And again, that's smoother, fast side. So when humidity comes in, just like Typhoons and Surefires, the slow side will start to stick up. That fast side, I'm sure if any of you guys have thrown four snipers before, you know when it gets humid, that pro server material flies. So fast side will stay nice, even in humidity. See, there's a slow side, it slides up the board real nice. 
There's the forgiveness too. It'll slide in there for you. Very hole friendly. Again, I really like the handful of these. I like that they're a little bit more full, a little denser. You're not getting, it's not super, super floppy, which kind of just gives you a nice consistent feeling bag when you're throwing it. That's a little right. So it slides all the way up the board really nice. And I'll overcompensate a little left. <laughs> See if I can split the difference. There we go. So I would say shot types, you're looking at blocks and pushes. You know, you're not gonna be a little short. You're not gonna be rolling this bag. You can do little baby cuts, little baby slides here and there. It can, if you really put some angle on it, it'll move a little for you, but pretty forgiving bag. Like doesn't skip on me too much. Stays pretty straight where it's going. Even if it's not perfectly flat, it's not, it doesn't kick. A little right on that one. That was a little left. All right, let's throw a slow side. Let's try to throw it a little higher or softer. Nope. There's the fast side. Fast side's what I meant, not slow side. Fast side is quick, you know, especially in these conditions right now. It's definitely gonna be your push side. I mean, I would say even if I had a bag right now, stop in front of the hole, see if I can try to get one, but I'd still be pushing it with the slow side because the slow side's still very powerful right now. So try to get that one in front, slid up all the way up to the hole. Let's see if I can step out and collect this one. A little left. Still pushed it in nice. We'll go for an air mail. Oh, tad short. But again, really good feeling bag. Really high quality bag. Again, I think this is for the player that one, if you really like the design, I think I think it's a cooler, one of the coolest designs out right now. I really like it. But two, if you're looking for that, you know, the surefire slow side that everyone seems to like, with the softer fest side, you know, less. Less of that gritty polyester. That was short. That's a better one here. That's a better one. Slid all the way up there, nice. There we go. Do one more down back. This bag is very popular. You know, it can be tough to get your hands on it. I think they they do post a good amount when they're going to be be doing releases on their Facebook page and their Instagram. So you can get out there and find yourself a pair. There's the nice slide up. There it is again, perfect. Let's see if I can airmail drag this one. Oh, nice. About the time I hit an airmail in one of these videos. I come out here sometimes in the wind. It's like guessing how far I need to throw it, but. Come down here one more time. A little quick on me. There it is. It's very forgiving. Slide that. That'll slide in for me. Oh, no way. <laughs> wow. Well, that's me only throwing it for an hour and a half and not quite. It is perfectly pinned. All right, guys. Well, the Deadhead by Buffalo Boards. Really high quality bag, uh, fits right in with that play style. If you like the Surefire Typhoon play style, I think it has a really, really awesome design. Um, I think it's cool that they combined that Surefire slow material with the Pro Sniper Fast, gives a really unique feel. Um, it's kind of nice not having that game changer ma material for once. I, I do like that Viper Pro Sniper material, but I do really like the spec material. So it's a really cool combo bag. And something I think a lot of people could really like. So if you can get your hand on one, I think you guys will really like it. But appreciate you stopping by for another video. If you like this one, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I hope you guys have a great one rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.